leadership workout. And I'll show you why in just a moment, because we, there you go. Click that. Got it. We are going to be doing a special Sorry. leadership workout today. What's up, Carla? I want to breathe the, the breathe and mother. And the breathe and motto? All right. Carla, you got yeah. All right. Carla is going to be doing the breathe and motto because. Ja, your camera's off. Oh, there we go. I must have hit, hit a wrong button. Uh, before I bring up or before we get Carla up here. Let's go ahead and let me show you all what we're going to do today. Uh, we got some more people who are joining in. And Carla, remember, if you got that breathe motto, uh, I know you got it written down. Go ahead and get that ready. Um, and you know what? Maybe we'll start off with the breathe motto first. And then we'll go ahead and I'm going to show everybody the award. And we're going to be able to show everybody the, um, the app workout for today. So there you go, Carla. I just sent you the unmute. I'm going to bring you up here next to me. And um, Carla, whenever you're ready, let's do that breathing motto. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Breathing good. Breathing happy. Breathing sad. Breathing best. Breathing power. Here we go. Are you made the word first? Nice job, Carla. Carla had us taking two really good breaths there. That was fun. And remember, when we're doing deep breaths, we're breathing in oxygen and we're breathing out carbon dioxide. We've been talking about that for over two years. We've been doing these workouts on Zoom and we've been doing our getting ready for our app and dialing all that in. But throughout all those times, we've always been really focused on our breathing. All right. So the first thing I want to show everybody is the award. Remember, on Friday, we talked about that we won an award for volunteer of the year, and it was presented to me, but I feel like it was a team effort from everybody here. So check it out, everybody. It came in this nice box and look at this here. I'm going to lift it up out of here. It's a, it's like a nice glass. I don't want to drop it. This is what fitness is important. It's a glass plaque. Look at that. And it's what got you the Arc of San Diego it says president's volunteer service award. Uh, presented to John White, and it says, our sincere appreciation for your commitment to the success of the Arc of San Diego. Now, a lot of you are a part of the Arc of San Diego, but some of you aren't. Some of you, there might be an arc in a city where you are. If there is, you got to let them know that, hey, I've been doing workouts with people in San Diego. They got some great stuff, and we're going to want to do this wherever we are, too. So remember, what's that, Bernie? Want to do you want to do what? Go ahead and type, type it in the chat room. Okay. All right, everybody. We got one more thing to do, and then we're going to get our workout up and going. And let's go ahead, and I'm going to show you we got a workout of the day on our True Fit Adaptive Fitness app. So here we go. You know, I don't like the technology, but here we go. If we bring up our True Fit app, there we go. We got True Fit at the top, and it says right there, Coach John added a new workout. So let's check this workout out. It's called Leadership Workout number one. All right. Last week we did three summer kickoff workouts. So today let's check this out. So look at this leadership workout. This is going to be Bernie and Byron today are going to be doing this one. Look at this. We got jumping jacks, sandbag, resistance bar, the kayak row, the halo. We got arm circles. We got, look, the bag lift, the forward toss, the lifting, the bicep curls, the bar twist, in the flag bearer, that's the one that we call, remember, the Statue of Liberty is that flag bearer exercise. So we're going to do this workout today, but instead of me being the leader on all these exercises, we're going to have Byron and Bernie. They're going to be leading us through this. I cannot wait. But of course, just like every workout, we got to get warmed up. And I didn't want to do the warm up by myself today. I, I've been doing, the, I'm in the new studio and, you know, we've been doing exercises in here. And I like when I have my friends with me and here we go. I got my man, Nick, he's in the house. Now remember Nick's a team leader and Nick, I want you to, uh, I want you to lead the whole warm up. I'm going to do what you tell me to do. Are you got, are you good, Nick? You got yeah, your water? Madam, why do I be one? Remember, right. I don't remember that for the buddy. It is it's super important. All right, everybody. So Nick's going to be the leader. I'm going to scoot back here. I'm going to be doing exercises sitting down and standing up, but I'm going to do whatever Nick tells me to do. And Nick, you're going to be the leader for the next 20 minutes. 
All right, buddy, Nixon you're on. Go. Here you go. Three, two, one. Nixon. I like control. everyone. Remember, but everyone, my, we will do our head to the, the way the board. I do they do them head to the. Nice. But we the don't get circle. out and out that way. Remember, everyone, we didn't do it, but we started. We don't, we don't want to destroy our neck or make them in pain. We don't want to straight out the mother and to build the mother and our neck and our head. I feel it, Nick. I feel it all around my neck. And remember, everyone, we've been doing this for over a year. The, we don't feel a straight our head. And right now, they weigh about nine to fifteen pounds now. Nice. How many more of these are we going to do, Nick? They do about two more. Two more. Nice. And but the hard way to now, if you are able, I will order our next one. Start to that. I know. I know. Maybe you were here. I got. My body had to eat at the only done my head to that to my stutter. I like that. I like how you're keeping your body from moving. Oh, the boy, three, two, and one, straight. And remember, everyone, we will do our temper. Three, two, and one. I love uh, you're looking at Nick moving slow. Moving slowly. Do we do it, one? Nice job, Nick. Getting that chin over to the shoulder. Stretching out our neck. What are we, how many more, Nick? Two more. Two more. One. On one side. And two. They are the next one. And the down and up. 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 All right. Up. Going up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Going down. And the wind did that up. Going up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Going down. Going up. Up. Oh, five. Body. Do and one. One more. Let's, let's do one more. Good call. And, and up. One. Five. Body. Do and one. You're doing a great job, Nick. Keep it going. Yeah. You're on a roll. And John Nelly, Diane, know the ear lift. Ear lift. I love the ear lift. We are doing it. Dino, Diana, no. Uh, Nick, I saw some people, they were fishing when I went surfing the other day. They were out fishing in the ocean. Imagine if they had caught my ear and been pulling on my ear out there. They, they could have pulled me in on my surfboard. There you go. Nice ear lift, Nick. Remember, everybody, bring that shoulder down. Ears up, shoulder down, and then slow switch. Ooh, this is a good one, Nick. Do do we, two, more? Do two more? Two more. Nice. Three, two, and one. Ooh-wee. Five, forty, two, and one. Nice job, Nick. We have Nick. that one for our head and our neck. The last one, the, we like to do it. The one that does the head. No, I'm doing do the back door, do you, Daddy? There you go. I'm doing sideways, too. There you go. Nick's going backwards. So remember, everybody, giraffe head. You're bringing your head out. Turtle neck. Bringing your head back. Let's do five, Nick. Let's go. Yeah. Giraffe. Turtle. Do you one? Giraffe. Turtle. Do it. Giraffe, turtle. Do we do and one? Giraffe, turtle. Do we do and one? Last one, giraffe, 
And turtle. B, go ahead and one. Nice job, Nick. Great job, uh, man. That's me. our whole neck. We just got yeah. our whole, we, we moved our neck around in, in so many directions. Forward, backwards, side to side. We did rotation. I'm feeling like I'm getting warmed up up top. Let's move it on down. What do you think? Um, hey, Don, how many legs are there in the water? I don't know. I don't know. That's an impossible question. And remember, we you... our trivedian, our one body, our pet, our student. Nick knows, everybody. You just heard it. Rhomboids, trapezius. The our pet. spinal cord and our spinal middle cord. and our back. Moving all those muscles. Nick knows, and you know now too. Remember, and, all our bodies, they're made to move. And my body, our armpit health. That's right. Armpit health is so important. Oh my gosh, Nick remembered about the. You don't want to forget your armpit. Some super important muscles in there. I know them people, they heal, but we have mother in our armpit that hold our arm to them. That's right. It all keeps everything attached to our body. All yeah. these muscles, how's this it. arm not falling off? Because all the muscles, everything's attaching it together. Nick, how many more of these you want to go with? Ten. Ten more. Let's do ten shoulder shrugs, everybody. Ten, Here we go. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Ooh, somebody's getting a call. Four, Two and one. We didn't do one arm. One arm moving up and down. They do five. Nice. Four. Two and one. We didn't do that arm. Nice. And everybody, when you when you push it down, think about pushing down. Don't just bring it back to normal. Bring it down low, like you're trying to put your shoulder in your pocket. Two more. One. Two. And one and two. Nice. We then go forward, backward. We're going forward, forward and backward. Backward. Shoulder roll forward, backward. Then we do you in the back. Show us the back view, Nick. There you go. Watch everybody. When Watch I the logos my, on Nick's shirt. Forward, my shirt, move. When my arm back, yep. my back is straight. There you go. Stretching out that shirt and then wrinkling up the shirt. Using those muscles to move his shoulders forward and backward. You're doing a great job, Nick. There's a book. Three. Three. Oh, and one. Nice job. Want to do a water and break before one. elbows? Yeah, water break. Let's do and water. And then we have the one of my top ten. I got a lot of favorite exercises. There's a lot of a lot of favorites. Remember, if you're on the True Fit Adaptive Fitness app and you got favorites, you can give them a little heart, little you can like them, and that way they'll be stored as your favorites. So that way, if you're ever trying to build your own workout, you can just do everything you love to do. I like that. What you got next, Nick? We're going elbows. We are doing elbows. All right. Elbows with doing up and down. Ooh, up and down. I like that one. That's the chicken wing. Yeah. Chicken wing up and down. All right. And we are focusing on our elbow. Focusing on the elbows? I am. And, and I see a lot of there we go. our mind. I see some people at home right now doing a great job. Who is that? iPad on the iPad with the helmet on. Nice job. I think that's Mark. Keep it up. Great job. Yeah, man. Nice job, Mark. There we go. Good job, Nick. Nick's our leader. What do we got next, Nick? Three, two, and one. We then do forward, backward. Ooh, forward and backward elbows. That's a tough one. Trying to get my elbows to touch in the front of my body is tough. If I can't do that, maybe I can bump, bump my arms in like an X, make like an X or Carrie's bear hug. We can go yeah. all, the way, all the way to Carrie's bear hug. And now look, my elbows. They're one on top of each other. Nick's two. So there's a lot of ways that we can move our elbows into the front of our body. We can have them up here. We can have them here. We can have them here. But it's important that we can move those arms across that midline. 
And we then do the elbows. And then doing the elbow circle. Nice. I then do one arm. I then do tiny arm. I mean, elbows. Tiny. Tiny like a little girl. Making them real big. Like her dad. All right, there we go. Moving around, switching it up. Yeah. Tiny. Nice job. You're doing good, Nick. Benny, Benny. And Dawn, how are your baby doing? She's doing really good. She is. She's sleeping right now. And she's just, she's been having a real good day. She had a long night. And my wife, my wife's a superhero. You know, my wife's superpower is, is that she's able to stay up all night long and take care of a little baby girl. I don't know how she does it. And she just, she must have some kind of superpower that helps her work with just little bits of sleep. And, you know, we've talked about in fitness, how important rest and things like that is. So we always want to make sure that we're recovering. I think my wife's got a superhuman power when it comes to late night, doing a good job. I'm just, I'm be trying to go to sleep and she's handling everything. Wow. Nice. I know. It's very, it's nice for me. They what do you got like next, Nick? All right. We got the arm circles now out to the side, holding those arms out as far away from our body as we can. You can see Nick's got his arms out straight. You could do this with your elbows bent too. Bend. There you go. Nick's showing us that version. Me too. You then do arm to the belly door, you, buddy? That did. Ooh, I like that, Nick. Do an arm circle in front of the body. Ooh, small, concentrated. What about overhead? Oh, my gosh. This is a tough one. The overhead arm circle reaching up high. Nice. Now, Nick, what about a combo? What about one overhead and one to the side? Yeah. Now, everybody knows we call him Combo Nick for a reason. He comes up with some of the best combinations of exercises. I'm going to switch it up. One up, one down. This is about 10, ten. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, man. That was really good, Nick. Really good. You want to do another water break? Yeah. Water okay. break, everyone. What, it's what, simple, then, but, buddy. Whatever Nick is going to do next, I'm going to do a couple exercises standing up. Just so we have a, a <coughs> view of that, too. I got another light over here. There we go. We're going to roll that ball over there. Oh, we're not going to move any muscles. Oh, my gosh. So we're going for the tummy squeeze? Yeah. Nick, should well, I do a I'll, plank? I've done no. All right. So it's, Nick's Nick is going to – I'm going to do the plank. Nick, you want to do it seating? Or do you want to do the plank? Do Nick's going to do the plank. I'm going to do – not the plank. So remember, everybody, we're squeezing our abdominals. Nick's going to be in a, in a flat position, horizontal. There he is. He's up. Let's go. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five. six. Keep counting, Nick. You count. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, that tummy. fourteen, fifteen, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Keep counting, Nick. Oh, 30 second abdominal squeeze. Wow. I was squeezing my tummy, not my tummy. I keep saying that. I was squeezing my abdominals just standing up here. Remember, those core muscles, they go from here all the way down to here. This is our core, all this area. And when you bring those arms up and you squeeze tight, you're going to engage a lot of those core muscles, especially the ones that go along the spine. What you got next for us, Nick? They do great. One more dummy three, but five did it. One more squeeze for five? Yeah. All right, here two, we go, everybody. Two, one, and three. Out, down, and out. Five, buddy, two, and one. <laughs> and relax. That was good, Nick. I'm feeling that deep in my abdominals, in my core. What do you got Thank next you. for us? What do you want to do next? You still got I about uh, 10 minutes. Now, pod. I oh, mean, look at this. I never took the protective cover off my watch. We're doing witch's pot? Let's go. Yeah. 
All right. So we're stirring the pot. I'll call it the gumbo pot sometimes, call it the witch's pot. We go down and out, up and in. Now, if you're standing up with me on this one, this is the first exercise where we're really starting to move our whole body. Look at this. I got my arms going out and then bringing them in. I got my legs bending, lowering me down. I'm sticking out my butt. I'm sticking it back. And when I do that, boop, I just drop right down into that position I want to be in. Nick's sitting down, but you can see his hands are together and he's stirring that pot up too. How many more, Nick? Five. Four. Three. No. And one. Nice job, Nick. I love that exercise. It has us counterbalancing our body as our arms go out, our weight goes back, and that keeps us from falling forward, too. Give us another one, Nick. The next one is the W, the D pop. D pop? When the W button win. I love this one. Let's do it. One and two. One. One and two. Two. One and two. Two. One and 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 two. They Let's do, do, one more. Let's do the, all that again, Nick. The same thing. That was awesome. Let's do that one more time, doing the two each time. Yeah, one and two. One and two. With the teacup. One. Wrist reach. And two. On right side. One and two. On left side. One and two. Off the pot, right side. One and two. Off the pot, left side. One. Round touch. And two. Woo. One and two. One more. Nice job, Nick. That's a great movement challenge. It gets our whole, it gets every muscle in our body working out from head to toe. Nick, what's another thing we could do for our toes? We could maybe work Wait out our hands step. too. You want to do some of that? Yeah, I will do it. You do feet. All right. So Nick's going to be moving his hands and his wrists. I'm going to be moving my feet. So I'm going to sit down on this big stability ball here. And let's have it so you can see my feet and my feet are right here. And I'm just going to be lifting my feet up and up down. And down. Maybe side to side. Side, side, to side. side to side. I like it. Look, I'm doing side to side with my feet. Just going side to side on my heels. We didn't do all the rotation. And then for rotation, I'm going to lift one foot up and move it around in a rotation style. Nice. Nick's doing a rotation with the foot, too. I like it, Nick. Remember, everyone, that they are three fire more than a billion more than do, do the thing every day. Three planes of motion every day. Imagine if you only moved backwards. That's it. We, we never moved forward. We only went back. We only went one direction. That would be weird. So I want you to always think about, like Nick said, moving forward and backwards, side to side, and moving with rotation, doing some twisty moves, doing some side throws and things. Nice job, Nick. Nick's got a good twist there. And on our app today, our workout with Byron and Bernie, we're going to be doing some twisting with the kettlebell, twisting with the resistance bar and the sandbag. So get ready for that. Nick, go ahead and give us uh, about three more warm-up exercises. Anything you want. They do the eye. Doing an I. I. Doing a the T. T. I Y T. The X. X. M. M. Nick, this is oh. awesome. Let me get closer. This is so great. Oh. What he's got an O? Yeah. Oh, I like the O. This is new. It's like you're holding a, a ball of energy. P. He's drawing a P. Oh. Are you drawing an R? Yeah. I remember, I'm going to do it with two hands. With an R. 
There's a lot of ways we can say I. I. Y. Y. T. T. W. X. X. M. M. W. W. O. O. P. P. N. R. N. R. Man, Nick. Do it again. Y. Y. T. Y. T. X. X. N. M. W. W. O. O. P. P. N. R. Oh, Nick. That was cool. Everybody, Nick just had us. We've done this before where we've made the letters of the alphabet using our arms, using our body. I thought that was cool because we did a combo. We did the I and the Y, but we also drew out the letters using our arms. Nick, that's super cool. Nick, you got two more warm-up exercises. What do you want them to be? Breath hold? Smile and frown? Smile and frown. Yeah, and blood Let's go with those two. All right, everybody. What do you want to do first, Nick? Smile and frown. I'm going to do a noodle. I'm going to do the noodle smile and frown. And I'm going to do my, my smile and frown with my phrase. If you got a Me pool too. noodle, you got a pool noodle handy. Smile, frown, boy, Smile, frown, boy, Don't worry, everyone. Smile. This is awesome, Nick. Brown. Brown. One more, everyone. Fire. Brown. And we that. Nice job, Nick. That's why we call him Combo Nick. He's always thinking of great ideas. Everybody, let's give Nick a round of applause for leading us through our warm-up. Nick's cooling off. Everybody, have a sip of water. Nick, that was outstanding. Yeah, you see Carrie's chat. What's that? Carrie's, Carrie put something in the chat. I'll, let me check that out. All right. Oh, yes. We're going to take a water break. Hydrate. I love that. Working on back. Oh, nice. Yes, Carrie. Absolutely. I love, I love getting that kind of information, knowing that you're working on those things. Again, if you're doing something that's difficult, if you're doing a challenge on your body and you are thinking even just a little bit, you're thinking, I can get this. This isn't impossible. Then it's good. It's good that it's hard. It's good that it's a challenge because as you try it and get better, your brain it's going to make those connections with the body and it's going to help you get better and better. And you're going to find that something that maybe seemed impossible is now very possible. And you might even be, it might be easy for you now. And that's the goal through fitness is to make things that are difficult, make them to where they're not as difficult and to make it to where we can help other people too. We want to help other people with our skills. All right. So what we're going to do next up, remember everybody, Bernie's going to be coming up first and then we're going to have Byron. Let me show you again real quick. This is on the app. We got quite a bit of workout on here to do. This is leadership workout number one, jumping jacks, sandbag, bar squats. We got the kayak row, the halo, the arm curl, the bag lift, the forward toss, the lift, the bicep curl, the bar. Bernie, you're going to help us out. And then Byron's going to be able to get the rest. Uh, are you ready, Bernie? Have you had a sip of water? Remember, everybody jumping jacks well that's the first exercise on this leadership workout so if i go and and select jumping jacks again look there's a video we got byron and anthony doing the jumping jacks we got a video on here and we got some adjustments i'm going to try out an adjustment i'm going to do this one i'm going to do i'm going to jump i'm going to do 1a i'm going to jump with my feet forward and backward are you ready bernie take away everybody Yep. Let me get my water. Thank you. Looking out for me. Bernie's a great teammate. All right. 
So, Bernie, I'm going to be doing stand-up jumping jacks. Remember, everybody, if you're sitting down doing the jacks, I like doing a clap overhead or a clap kind of in front of my body, working out that upper body, working out those shoulders. All right, Bernie, I'm going to be right here, and uh, I'm going to do the whole workout with you. It's going to be you and me on this one. And um, all right, let's get this ball. I don't want it rolling in my way as I'm jumping around. Breathe in. We're doing 55. 55. Uh, four, three, two, one. Jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 and 40, 41. Go, Bernie. Keep going. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and 55. Cardiovascular exercise, everyone. Remember, that's what we're feeling when we feel our hearts beating. What you got, Bernie? 45. Woo, that's a great heartbeat. Remember, everybody, if you want to feel your heartbeat, you could put your hand, you could just put it on the side of your neck real gentle. And you're going to feel beat, 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 beat. That's your heart. It's pumping blood through your body. It's getting oxygen in, carbon dioxide, getting on out of there. What you got next, Bernie? Ooh, so she's got the stick. So remember, everybody, on today's workout, on the app, we had two exercise equipments. One was the stick and the other one's the weight. So Bernie just got us with those jumping jacks. And here we go. Um, it looks like Bernie, is the baton spin coming up next? All right, let's do it. All right, here she goes. Counting loud, Bernie. Counting louder. Three. There you go. Four. Leadership voice. Five. Yes, Bernie, nice job. She got that boost of speed at the end there. And now look, we're going for that back stretch. If you don't have a stick, I'm going to pretend I don't. If you don't have a stick, you can just put your hands on your hips and we're just going to lean down and then we're going to go up to the ceiling and stretch him back. There you go, Bernie's going into the light. There you go, Bernie. Don't you got to put your sunglasses on for that one. There you go. Keep going. Don't hurt your eyes. Wow. Nice job, Bernie. She put herself at risk of that sunbeam right there. And that was awesome. You could really see the difference Bernie's body was making, leaning all the way forward out of the light and then coming back into that, that spotlight. That was incredible. Bernie, what do you have in your hand? Oh my gosh, it is a kettlebell. And guess what? Everybody, I got one too. You can also have one of these. Remember, these only cost about five bucks now at a discount store. You can find them. Go for it, Bernie. She's going for the twist. And this would be, you could do this with a medicine ball. You could do this with a water jug. You could do this with a sandbag. You could do this with the resistance bar. You could do this with a baby. If you had a newborn baby like I do, you can rock the baby side to side. And you can work on your pivot. Remember that foot. Remember, when I twist my body, I'm going to relax through my feet. Keep going, Bernie. You're doing great. Twisting. Nice. That's good for golfers. All right. 
Here we go, Bernie. And he's got one more to go. Reaching for the ground. Going to touch the ground with the weight and then reach up to the sky. Two. There you go, Bernie. Counting loud. Three. Leadership voice. Four. There it is. Five. Woo, she went one-handed, everybody. Six. She's lifting the entire weight of that kettlebell with one hand. Eight. And then she's lifting it up over her head. That's tough. Nine. Look at that one. She went as high up as she can go. Nine. Wow. Nine. Keep it going, Bernie. This is awesome. Nine. We got Byron's coming up next. And then we got Carla. She'll be bringing it home. Oh, Bernie's going for the two-hand Statue of Liberty hold. Count. Nice job, Bernie. Count it down. Remember that at the end, that's our isometric hold. And that's where we really get a lot of strength from that. That helps to make us strong when we do that isometric hold. Bernie, let's have another sip of water. You did a great job. Great job. All right, everybody, give Bernie a round of applause. Also, we appreciate her helping us out so much with that leadership. And now here we go. We got the man with the plan. And now, Byron, let me, uh, let, me, let me look at our workout here. Let's see what we got. Bernie had us do some of these moves, but I know you're going to get us with, we got around the world. We got the halo going around your head, doing the arm curl, and, and even the forward toss. So Byron's going to be doing the combo for us, everybody. Here he goes. He's going to get ready to do his flow. If you got a sandbag or an exercise pillow, you can do this. And look at this. He's already moving it all the way around. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. Byron is coming up with the new move. Look at this one. This one is called the Ferris wheel. And he's moving it all the way around like a Ferris wheel. Byron, this is incredible. Carla, great job. Everybody's following along. And look at that. Byron, he's going all the way around the head, around the arm, moving that arm around and swinging it side to side. Wow. Byron is getting himself moving and grooving. Look at that. With the shoulder lean, doing the hangman, hanging it out on the neck. Nice job, Byron, doing the back stretch, bringing it around the back, up onto the upper shoulder. Check that move out, everybody. That was pretty smooth. Around the back, he did a pancake flip, another pancake flip, bringing it around the back, tossing it up, working on his wrist, working on his elbows. He's doing a bicep toss. He's doing the bicep is throwing that bag up in the air. That's the bicep toss. There you go, Mark. There you go. Keep it going, Marco. Nice job. Byron around the back, sweeping it off the ground, keeping it moving and grooving. Wow. What's he going to do next? Another ground sweeper off the ground, hanging out low, moving the arms around, chopping up the salad, moving it around, playing the bongo drum like Man, look at that, Byron, moving those arms while he's balancing. Oh, he rolled it off his head. That was a sweet move. If he would have caught that, that would have been an all-time favorite moment. Byron's going side to side. Oh, here he goes with the figure eight, doing the low squat. This is part of our workout, doing that squat, bringing it down, moving it around. Again, he did another great drop. That means he was trying his hardest. If you're not dropping the bag, you're not trying your hardest. Byron's going all the way to the twist. This is the side twist with the right side going. He's bringing it in the front and he's moving nice and slow. Byron's got tempo control, just like a jazz musician, speeding it up, slowing it down. Byron's moving it off the ground. There he goes, popping it up on his back. And he knows he's got all these moves dialed in. Byron's taking us for a spin. There he goes. Look at this. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. He's popped. He's popping the hot potatoes off the ground, catching them, bringing them around. Did a toss. Remember, we love throwing things, throwing that sandbag. That's going to be okay. And Byron's now gone to the resistance bar. Everybody get ready for this. This is a 10-pound resistance bar. Byron's going to be taking us through some moves. And you can bet he's going to be doing some squats, some baton spins, moving forward, moving backwards. We just talked about it. Here we go. Byron's moving forwards. And now here he is, the more challenging backwards movement. He's actually moving backwards while he's looking ahead. That's a challenge for the body that you want to do. It's going to help your whole body out from your mind all the way down to your ankles and toes. Nice job, Byron. He's going forward and backwards. He's holding the bar up. And now he's going for a bar twist. 
This is on the app. Here he is. He's going for the bar twist, right side bar twist, twisting all the way right side. Now he's twisting it back, bringing it all the way to the left side, almost behind his back. Byron's got some cho some choices here. There he goes. He's bringing it back in front, and he's going into another right side twist. This is an exceptional twist here, everybody. Again, he was letting his ankles and legs feel it. Here we are. We're holding it up by our chin with knuckles up. He's got that bar right underneath his chin, holding it up high, and now he's lowering it. Nope, nope, he's not. He's raising it, and he's raising it. He's going all the way over his head. He's holding it up. This is the overhead press. Here we go. This is on the app. Byron's checking off those exercises. He's bringing it up high. He did another overhead press, bringing it down in front of his body, switching out with those hands in that bicep curl position. Byron's holding that stick. He's got his biceps holding that bar up. There you go, Byron. And he's doing the bicep curl, everybody. This is the one, one of those we wanted to look for. This is on the app for today's leadership challenge, the bicep curl with the resistance bar. I think it's an awesome exercise. It's going to work out your whole body. And here he goes. He's going for a squat. He's going to the ground. How low can you go? Byron can get all the way down to the ground. And then he's bringing it up and up to his chest. And he's going up one more. He's going from the ground to the sky, everybody. This one I call shoes to sky. You go down to the shoes and then you go up to the sky. Byron's doing it right here. He's holding that squat position. Now he's bringing it up. I like that row he just did. He brought that bar into his belt, and then he took us for another bicep curl. Down to the ground again he goes. Switched out his hands. Who saw that? His hands are knuckles up, and now he's got a baton spin. Oh, he went marching band. Now he's going Marine Corps. Here he goes. Baton spin, Marine Corps. You got to pop it on the ground just like that. Get a little bump on the ground. He goes spin with a little tap. There we go. Spin and tap. I like that one. Spin and tap. Nice job, Byron. Spin and tap. Tapping one end on the ground. You got to slow the stick down. You got to control it with the wrist and the elbows. Nice job, Byron. Leading us down the grinder. Marine Corps boot camp. Oh, he's going inchworm. He's all the way at the top and he's doing inchworm down. Look at that. Inch by inch working down all the way down to the ground. And then working back up, using that stick for some balance, going back down. He's got another inchworm going. Here we go, all the way down, inchworm down into the low squat, and then working back up. This is a great exercise, Byron. Keep it going, feeling the flow, doing the combo, all the way down to the ground with the inchworm, all the way back up to the top, the very top. Byron's holding on to the top. Oh, and he's going for pot. Not, oh, which is pot? He's stirring it up. Here we go. Byron, he's got that gumbo in the witch's pot. He's stirring it up. And you can see everybody, he's bending his elbows and then straightening his arms out. So it's a bend and a straighten and a reach, just like you're stirring with a big old wooden spoon. Keep it going, Byron. You're stirring it up. Keep it going. Keep it stirring. Keep stirring it up. Nice job, Byron. Look at that. He's getting every corner of that pot. Nice job, Marco, again. Marco's got his towel, exercise towel going. Carla, she's got her stick. She's stirring it up. Byron's stirring it up. Carla, you're up next, too. Don't forget, Byron, when he finishes up, we're going to have Carla. She's taking us through a hula hoop medicine ball challenge. I'm talking so about combos today. Nice so job, Byron. Which one? Ooh, Lumberjack. Nice this job, Byron's up. And he's going to get... Go for it, Byron. Moving backwards again. Got that lumberjack. Nice job. I see a lot of your peers. Byron, they're following your lead. We got that resistance bar or, or stick up on our shoulder. Moving forwards, moving backwards, moving through, moving that axe over to the other shoulder. Just a pretend axe, just a resistance bar. Here we go. We're going forwards and backwards again. Nice job. Forwards, backwards, moving with our feet, making it complete. There we go. Byron's getting down into the low squat. I think he's about to bring it on home. He's got his arms on that bar. He's setting it down over there, and the bar's on the ground, and Byron is up. That's all she wrote. Byron, that's some great stuff, man. Excellent, excellent workout. Byron, that was a really great routine. And, again, we call that the combo. We call that the flow. And now we're going to have another combo flow. 
and it's going to be from our friend Carla. So, hey, everybody. All right, Carla, show us what you got there. Is that a, a medicine ball? The medicine ball, yeah. How heavy is that one? It's a, it's a, it's a eight pound. You want to do, a, you want to do a water break? Water break before yeah, we start. Break. Yeah, Let's let me drink some water. And everybody, I got a, I got a medicine ball too, Carla. I'm gonna, I want to share with you. I'm gonna be up here. I'm gonna be on the other side. And uh, I got, look, I got my eight pound medicine ball, and I got mm -hmm. water just like you. Right. Water. We have uh, one more little, one routine here. All right, go ahead, Carla. I'm going to do one in Spanish and one in English. Okay, I'm going to do both. Nice. I'm going to do the press thing. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, catorce, quince, dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho. Uno. One, two, there you go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uno, Woo! Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. That's the movie. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Switch. We're going to do the hula hoop. All right, everybody, go ahead. And if you don't have a hula hoop, remember, you can use your imagination. Just pretend. Oh, you can, get, oh, you can, you can get on the store for one dollar. You could get one. That's right. For one dollar at a dollar that's store. Or mine. you can pretend. Or online. Yeah. They'll yeah. deliver it for online. Free, even. Can you imagine? Oh, you, yeah. Yeah. We're going to do the bus driver. Bus driver. Driving that bus, spinning that wheel. There we go. Nice. Nice job. Look at Carla. She's doing donuts in her bus. She's spinning that bus all around the park. Pop the horn. Hit that Open horn. The door. Open that weird door. There we go. Nice. Driving. I like this one where I'm driving down the road through traffic. We're going, we're going to, I don't know where we're going. <laughs> we're going to the, maybe the San Diego Fair. Fair, yeah. Going to the Go fair, going the right. to the fair. Driving down Go the fog. The right. Hit Get the door, the right. let everybody in. Get on the right. <laughs> spinning the wheel, spinning the wheel. There you go, okay, Carla. Inside. She's spinning it around. All right, get out of that Uno, bus. Let's get in. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, diez, ocho, nueve, yes. Let's go to Vente on the next one. Ooh, Uno, this is a neat one, dos, everybody. This is tough. Tres, cuatro, Carla's throwing cinco, the hoop up in the air siete, and catching it. Uno, and but I'm outside five. doing it, like so that. I have room. You can't do this inside, probably, unless you have a, a high ceiling. Okay, we're going to do the typewriter. One, Ooh, typewriter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and then pushing thirty. Ooh, pushing and pulling. She's going for the push Uno, to start. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, and then pizza delivery. Ooh, pizza delivery. Four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the wet the arm. Oh, race. we got the arm swing. One, two, three. Four, five, six, switch. Woo, doing One. a switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, nice. What else, Coach John? Carla, I think that was awesome. Let's do a water break. And I'll get an update again on Wednesday, right? That's right. So everybody on Wednesday, Carla's going to do that. But we talked about we're going to switch the order. We're going to do the hula do hoop to, first. Do you want me? Can I? Can I? Can I do the bit? Can I do the bit money on Wednesday? Yeah. In the beginning? Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. All right, everybody. Let's have a water break and we're going to check our app. Ooh. We're going to go to our True Fit Adaptive Fitness app here. And let's go ahead and see if there are any exercises we still want to go over before we finish up today's workout. Now, remember, if you don't have the app already, 
you can get it. You can get it in the app store or in the Apple store, the Google play store, and it's called true fit adaptive fitness. You can download that app and it's going to have uh, hundreds of exercises with our friends doing the exercises. That's what's so great. So we did the jumping jacks. We did the sandbag around the world. Byron had us doing that resistance bar squats. We did that one, you know, the kayak row. Let's do that in a moment. Let's get that one back up here. Let's do the halo. And we did the arm curl. We did the bag lift. We did one forward toss. So maybe we'll do a couple more forward tosses. And yep, Byron and Bernie, they did all the rest of these. We did lift, bicep curl, bar twist. And of course, that flag bear, we call that one, remember, the Statue of Liberty. So let's go ahead and let's do the kayak row. We're going to do the halo and we're going to do forward toss. Now, the first one, the kayak row, you can do that one just like Nick had us doing our elbows, where we were moving our elbows around. And I'm going to sit right here in front of the camera. So remember, everybody, let's do a body weight kayak row for our first one. Body weight kayak row is going to have one arm go forward, one arm go backward, and then switch. So it's like we're sitting in the kayak and we're paddling down a river. If we wanted to paddle backwards, we can just move those elbows going back. But remember, as one goes forward, the other goes the opposite direction. If I switch it around, it's the same thing. I got one going this way and the other one's back there. Now let's check this out with the resistance bar. So I got my resistance bar here. This one weighs about maybe three or four pounds. Remember, there's sand in this PVC pipe with some uh, caps on the end and then just some red tape to make it red. But you can make one of these for maybe a dollar maybe a dollar and 50 cents. And what you could do with it is again, that kayak row. So unlike my elbows moving forward and back, I want to move the ends of the stick forward and back. Watch how I do this. As I move one forward, the other one goes back and it kind of is spinning right here in the middle. If I think about that middle kind of staying straight right there in that spot, and then it's going to look like I'm kayaking a boat. I'm working myself going down the river. So Let's go ahead and practice. We're going to do 20 of these. If you don't have a stick, use your elbows. If you do have a stick, let's practice. Again, making that circle with the ends. Here we go. Three, two, one. Kayak row. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's get down that river. Nine, 10. Maybe we're getting across a lake. 11. 12, maybe we're out in the ocean, 13, 14, 15, 16, maybe we're up by the icebergs up in the Arctic, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Nice. I saw a lot of you doing that. It's a tough exercise, but again, it's one to, to practice and uh, it gets our body moving in a really neat way with both sides kind of alternating. So it's a nice fluid motion. It's nice for our core, for our shoulder structure, for all these muscles up here. It's an important exercise. All right, now the next one, if you have a sandbag, like Byron, like I know uh, some of my friends have these sandbags. Uh, if you don't have one, maybe you can use an exercise pillow or even a small towel. I saw my buddy Marco, he's been working out. He has an exercise towel. He's been doing a great job with that exercise towel. Sometimes we do the entire workout. We just use that exercise towel. For this one, you can do that also. This is going to be passing the bag off behind the head. Now, this is a challenge. Now, Byron, he goes behind the back a lot. This one's going to be the behind the head. And so if we need to, to bring it up, we can, we can bring our head forward. And let me show you. But we want to try to stay up. So I want to try to stay up, reach back, and go around my head. Now, if I need to help make a little space, I can bring my head forward a little bit but then I wanna to try to sit back up straight when the bag's in front of my body. So that's the halo. And again, just like Marco with the towel, if I got my towel, I'm just passing it around, passing it around, passing it around my head. The trick from this one is it's the flexibility in the shoulders. If we can't lift up too high, I might be able to put it on my shoulder and then to kind of reach over here and then bring it around. All right, I'll show that from this side. So I'm just gonna set this up on my shoulder all right, hold on to it. And then I'm going to reach over here with my other hand. I'm going to try to find a way to get it. 
And then as soon as I got it, I'm going to bring it around. That's the halo. Let's go ahead and do 10 of these. So I'm going to do my sandbag. I'm going to go five one way. There's one. Two. I'm going to go five the other way. Three. Four. And five. Now I'm going to switch direction and I'm going to use my body to help me with this now. So I'm going to put it here and there's one. All right. I can keep it close. Remember, if I keep it close to my body, two, I'm going to be stronger. Three, moving it around. This is a different technique I'm using. I'm still getting the same benefit with my arms and my elbows. Four. And last one is five. Nice job. So remember, that's the halo. It's a great exercise for working out our shoulder muscles and also getting our, some of our core engaged, some of our upper core. All right, now the last exercise that we're going to do is that forward toss. And we're going to show a couple ways to do that. One of them is the obvious. It would be holding an object. I want to make sure there's nothing in front of me that can get hit. That ball's not in the way. And I'm going to aim. I'm going to take my aim. And I'm just going to push this bag. I'm going to throw it on the ground. That's the forward toss. Now, it's, it seems like it's simple, but it's not always so simple. Now, if I'm able to pick up the bag, that's great. I can go and retrieve it. I might need somebody to help me. But what I want to do is hold it up to my chest. And then with just my arms, I'm going to push, push it away. I'm pushing it away with, with two arms. Now, who saw that? I did that with two arms. I'm going to do it one more time with two arms. And then I'm also going to do it. Well, I'm going to throw it right at you. So here we go. Get ready. It won't hit you, but I'm going to throw it right at the camera. Here we go. Three two, one. And you can see my arms pushed away in the bag. It flew right at the camera here. Watch if I, if we do a, a back shot here, watch, I'm going to go, I'm going to throw it over there towards the ball. So I'm taking my aim three, two, one push. And with both hands, they have to release the bag. Now I have some friends who, when they try to throw it, sometimes it, it, it sticks and they, it's hard to let go. It's hard to throw it. And that's okay. Maybe you can also try with one arm. So I'm going to hold it in here. I'm going to hold with one arm and I'm going to push it away. So I can hold with two hands and then push with one arm and just throw that bag over there. Let me try it with the other arm. I'm going to throw it right at the camera. We got about three minutes to go. So again, right at the camera. Here we go. We're throwing with just one arm. Three, two, one. There you go. I'm pushing it away. And now the last throw that I want to show everybody, I'm going to do a little camera adjustment here so we can see the wall. I'm gonna come all the way over here to the wall. And this is gonna be a gentle throw. I'm gonna throw it against the wall and catch it. So I'm gonna throw and then catch it right there. Throw and then catch it. Throw and then catch it. Throw and then catch it. So I'm just throwing it right here. I keep my arms out and I kind of catch it right underneath it. That's gonna allow me to work on some repetition. I also won't have to worry so much about the, the retrieval of the bag. If I throw it over there, I gotta go get it. But if I can get myself close to the wall, even if it's a towel, it's, it's about the motion. It's about that movement and that power push. Um, ben, do you know, do we have a, um, a closer? Who did we have? Did we have something in the beginning? Because I wasn't, I wasn't here. Okay. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure if we saw it in the chat room. Let's go ahead and have Bernie come up and do it. And then we'll have Nick um, do the Breathe the Motto on, on Wednesday. Let's call. I remember, Carla did a great job. She was our leader earlier today. Also, Bernie and Byron and Nick. Great job to all of you. All right, let's drink some water, everybody. Bernie's got us on. Yeah, I want to be breathing a man and end. Uh, Bernie's going to do it today. And how about uh, later on in the week? Okay. You did a really good job this morning. Okay. Thank you. You did a great job this morning, too, with that, Carla. I appreciate Thank your you. enthusiasm. Thank you. All right, uh, Bernie, you're up and take it away. Mm -hmm. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe in good. Breathe in the back. Breathe in happy. Breathe out the sad. Breathe in your best. Breathe out the worst. Breathe in your power. So you reach your goals first. Yes, nice job, Bernie. That was an excellent breathing motto. Bernie was an amazing team leader today. 
also leading us in that breathing motto. Remember, everybody on YouTube, make sure you're liking and subscribing. We do this three times a week. Also, all of these workouts are on the TrueFit Adaptive Fitness app. So you can download the app, get on there, check out the workouts. You can find out what we're going to do ahead of time. All right, everybody. Great job so 